Hello again, everyone. Today I'm here with a very random assortment of things that I purchased from various places uh, over the last few weeks, and I didn't really want to do a video on any one product, so I decided to go ahead and do a combined video. I'm going to save this for last. Uh, this is sort of the the big purchase of the bunch, and um, it's Sailor Ink, but I'll tell you more about it. And I'll, I also want to tell you more about that adorable sticker that I got from Goulet Pens. All right, so I'm going to put this one off to the side and do this last. So let me do the Amazon purchases first. So these three things I got from Amazon. This my husband found when looking for something Murder, She Wrote related on <laughs> Amazon. He finds very weird things. He showed it to me kind of as a joke and then I immediately bought one, which I think he thought was kind of funny. So I don't know how many of you have watched Murder, She Wrote, uh, but you know, it's it's fun entertainment to watch when you, you know, just want something on in the background. But there's sort of an ongoing joke about Jessica Fletcher, who's the main character, uh, she, there's like always murders happening when she's around and so the joke is that she's the one who actually killed all these people so that she would have something to do. <laughs> so this is a pen case that has her picture and says, I killed them, I killed them all. And I thought that was really cute. It says the both the same thing on both sides. I'll put a link to this. I think it shipped direct from China and then I was thinking, oh my god, these poor people in China who are making these things, like I wonder what they think when they come across stuff like this. But anyway, I'll go ahead and show you the insides real quick. It's actually a very um, nice setup here. So there's kind of a deep area here. There's a little flap that has a few little pen loops on it. So you can put some things on there. And then there's this little mesh pocket up here. I think it's actually a pretty good layout for just sort of a generic pen case. But anyway, I thought that was fun. And I'll put a link to that. Okay, this one... Um, and here's the packaging. I think it's probably made directly for the Japanese market. This is a platinum desk pen in red. It actually, and I put this away already, but it came with a red ink cartridge, but I am using a converter in here with document ink in fog gray from Diatramentus. I'll go ahead and, oops, I'll go ahead and show you the jar. This is what I have in here. Um, it's almost like a Payne's gray really in color. So I'll show you, I put a converter in here and just filled it with that ink. Pretty much any platinum converter will work in these platinum desk pens. And you know, I mean, it's very cheaply made or whatever, but it's great for sketching. And um, maybe I'll take a piece of this paper out and show you how that would work. Okay, so this paper is the last thing that I purchased off of Amazon, and this is watercolor paper by the B Paper Company. And I really wanted to try this because it came in a very large, um, I'm gonna have to use scissors there, came in a very large number of sheets and is 100% cotton paper and was relatively inexpensive. So let's see. Oh my goodness, of course, I probably should have unwrapped this off camera, but there you go. Okay. I'll put a link to this below as well. It seems to go out of stock quite often. So um, it may not always be in stock when you're looking for that. All right. And it seems like it is divided in the middle. And I was trying to figure out why that is. Oh, it just looks like it's a piece of cardboard in between. Hmm, that's strange. But anyway, this has 50 sheets of 100% cotton watercolor paper, and I think it's 140 GS, 140 pound, 300 GSM, which is actually a pretty decent um, weight paper. So I'm going to go ahead and write a little bit with this. Oh, and that's the one thing you can't post this pen because it's too long. <laughs> but <laughs> it does, so you can hold it like back here, so it's kind of nice if you want to do, you know, long fluid lines. It also has a little bit of variation, so you're, you can do sort of heavier lines, lighter lines, heavier lines, so it's kind of cool. I'll show you that close up. 
can kind of see that it's a bit of a pain gray color and you can really see the nice variation in the line that you can get just from this really inexpensive pen. So I'm not going to be testing any watercolor on this paper today, but I think that I am, here I have a brush off to the side and some water, I am going to be testing this ink. So this ink is a natural pigment ink that I purchased from Choosing Keeping at the same time that I got the, um, what are they, the Vecchi, Zecchi um, watercolors that I have had a separate video on. I'll, I'll put the link that, to that video below. Um, I purchased this in the same order. I love this ink actually. It's really beautiful and I'll do a swatch of it here on the paper so you can see. But this is made in Switzerland um, and I suspect that this ink, which is sort of a yellow ink, is made with saffron just because of its name because it says it's um, saffron gelb, which to me kind of sounds like so, um, and it came with this beautiful little seal, this wax seal on here and this little um, ribbon that went over the cork and I cut it so that I could keep that little wax seal on there. It did look like it was settling a little bit down in the bottom and I'll show you. And Choosing Keeping has a variety of these inks. I'll put a link down below. Uh, some are suitable for fountain pens supposedly and some are not. This says that it is suitable for fountain pens but I don't know if I trust it because um, because on the website itself, I'm sorry, I almost dropped a bunch of pencils on the floor. At the website itself, it said that this was not suitable for fountain pens. So I probably will just use this as an ink in mixed media and that sort of thing. So I wet my brush here. I'm going to open that jar. Oh, and see, maybe we don't even need to do the brush because there was enough there. Yeah, let me just leave it like that. So the ink itself is just a really beautiful yellow color. And I just kind of chose this color at random because I didn't know they had so many different ones. This There was an earth color collection and that was that's what this was part of. And then they have some brighter colors so see, it's a really pretty ink. And like I said, it says it's suitable for fountain pens, but even if I um, wasn't afraid of that, <laughs> I probably would not want to use it just because it's so light and it probably wouldn't show up very well. Okay, so that's not with, you know, I do have a watercolor palette off to the side. Let's do a quick test on this paper. This is a little palette that I have been playing with, trying to get it to come together. Let me open up my water again over here. And let's see. And actually, let's see if these re-wet. Oh, it looks like they do not. It looks like they're permanent once they're on there. That's good to know. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna use this, oops, need some more water. Cypress Umber, Cypress Burnt Umber by Roman Schmall. Okay. We're going with a line and circle theme here. Okay, and that is Quinn Gold, also by Roman Schmall. And then I'm gonna do this one, which is Quinn Maroon, also by Roman Schmall. Okay, and then I have some core colors in here and I'm gonna see if they can, usually core colors will kind of take off in there. Right. And then I also, I'm going to draw a line, let's see, I'm going to use this color. This is um, Zoocyte Genuine by Daniel Smith. So this ink is permanent that I put under here, so it should be, shouldn't bleed, which is good. It doesn't look like it is. And then what other, let me 
do the sap green here. some carryover and then I'm actually going to do one more circle with just the water from that green and then I'm going to put some core raw umber there okay, and then I do have some the thing that I almost knocked over was these colored pencils here. So I'm actually gonna go, these are all water soluble. So let me, let me see if I can go through there. Nice. I actually think this paper is working really, really well. And this is Walnut Brown. Let's see, let's use a terracotta color. Lovely. Okay, and I am actually going to see if I can fuzz that line out a little bit. Oh wow, this totally became a um, <laughs> an abstract painting video. Okay, sorry. So there we go. That is, and this paper is lovely. I wanted to use that zoocyte genuine down there on the bottom because it is pretty granulating, so I could see how this paper handled that. And as you can see, it's granulating really beautifully. I actually really like this paper. It's really pretty. Okay, so there's a few different mediums on there. And then finally, okay, let's put these watercolors away. That was not part of the deal, neither were these pencils. And then, so I wanted to show you this little guy, and I have not tried this out yet. I'm going to have to um, find a uh, cartridge for it because I don't have a whole lot of international cartridges that are short that would fit in here. So this is a Conklin mini graph, which I thought was super cute. But actually, since I have all this ink over here, I also have Diatramentus document brown. That's also another recent purchase. Actually, all three of these, the document ink fog gray, the document ink brown, and then I got a document ink black. All of those are fairly recent purchases too. I got them from Jet Pens. I'm going to go ahead and dip this pen in the brown ink and see and see how it goes. Okay, that's probably not really truly representative because it is obviously bleeding into those colors. But you can see there, it actually has a really great line. Okay, I'm gonna dip that in some water, get that ink out, and I'll clean that up a little bit more off camera. But I thought this was such a cute little pen, and even though it's a mini pen, it's a really great length when posted. I have not always been the biggest fan of Conklin, but um, I just thought that this was just too cute to pass up. And I got that on a second hand site as well. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of full price purchasing lately. <laughs> okay, so there's that, there's the paper, there's the pen. Oh, and I almost forgot the, the PS de resistance, which is not any of these things. There's the paper, there's the ink, which is this set of Sailor ink cartridges. So I went a little crazy and got the whole set here. So these are the Sailor Shikiori cartridges. Oops, 
and it looks like there's some little stickers for the colors here and they come in these really cute little thing let me move this off to the side so I don't get watercolor all over that I'm actually really liking that <laughs> So they come in this really cool little stand, like a bookcase, and then you can just set them, you can just set them like that, like a little bookcase. And there is another whole set in here, and each of these little books has uh, three ink cartridges in it. And I kind of did the math, and so um, so it's three times twenty, you know, sixty ink cartridges. Um, I did want to buy some individual colors and then I just like kept thinking oh I like that I like that one I like that one because this is almost a hundred dollars for these this is a real frivolous purchase like this is not something that you need at all um, but I did want to try all these different colors and then I figure it'll also help me find inks that I like in this range which hopefully they won't go out of stock by the time I get to the <laughs> inks that I like um, and I was planning on using them uh, in a variety of my um, sailor pens, but I was specifically thinking of my Sailor Pro Gear Mini, which, you know, I can either fill the cartridges or use standard cartridges, and these would be really convenient and pretty and a chance to try a variety of things. And one of the inks that's already in here I know I love, which is this Rick Yu Cha. Love it. And I don't think I've actually tried any of the others, but they all look really beautiful. So I just wanted to tell you about that. If you were to buy each of these individually, it would be a lot more expensive than if you bought the set. But again, it's still quite an investment. And you know, if that's not for you, that's totally fine. And then I did want to show you the sticker that came with my Goulet pens order. Apparently they let their daughter, Ellie Goulet, write or uh, draw little pictures and they made stickers out of several of them. And this is the little turtle that she drew which I just think is totally adorable it's uh, it was really sweet that they did that and I, I love the illustration so that's a that's a sticker that I'm definitely gonna keep and treasure and I think that's really sweet all right so okay so that really is it <laughs> I got very distracted with the paper that happens a lot with watercolor I kind of get distracted and uh, just get carried away with doing it all right, well, that's it for today. I think you can see just about everything in the camera there. I'll put a link below to all of the products here and uh, please subscribe so you can keep track of future videos and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much, bye.